Welcome everyone to HFN. Today is June 27, 2020. Here to give you all the very quick update for Aurora Cannabis and why you might want to sell Aurora Cannabis stock right now. We're going to talk about that momentarily. Let me tell you all about making sure if you guys appreciate our content to subscribe to the channel, like the video, join us on all of our other social media platforms. The link will all be in the description of this video. And then join us on our website if you guys want to see more of our price predictions and forecasts for other products, other stocks in the stock market. You definitely need to be a participant of ours on our website. OK. So now let's talk about the performance of the market trapper since our last video for Aurora Cannabis, which was on June the 13th, 2020. You guys can see that our expectations into the market for Aurora Cannabis was for it to move lower and generally it really didn't see that much weakness since that video has played out okay it really did not show us that much weakness since we did our video the market was just really trading within a range but that's not a cause of concern okay the market over the last four days this past week has definitely reiterated our forecast of our expectation into the market for Aurora Cannabis to continue to see movement lower. And this whole process started right there on June 23rd. You guys can see right there to where Aurora Cannabis was unable to successfully close above $14 and even $15 on that particular trading day. So we are still on course to continue to see this stock, this product forecast to continue to see movement lower into the downside. Specifically, when you look at Aurora Cannabis on the weekly time frame. You can see right here that we got confirmation that the weakness in this stock is still there okay so definitely in the long term for aurora cannabis we are going to continue to expect this stock to continue to move lower now you can tell already that we may have the market trapper come in and try to grab some support right there around 12 dollars. okay so keep that in mind as we see this particular stock trade next week but Based off the last three, four consecutive weeks, I'm not looking for that $12 to hold that support area. We're going to expect the market in Aurora Cannabis to try to come down to around $11 for some support. Might be a little bit higher than that. Now, I would say maybe around like $11.50. Okay. So let's go ahead and take this off as a profitable forecast. Uh, let's see how much we'll be up right now if we were to get out. 5.83%. Let's go ahead and get rid of that. And then we're going to play the weakness still in the market for Aurora Cannabis all the way back down towards $11.50. So that would be another uh, almost 8% market move to the downside for this particular product. Okay. So yeah, we're going to continue to play the weakness in Aurora Cannabis. We would TP the market though, just give y'all a heads up around that $12 uh, uh, around that $12 area because we already understand based off the weekly time frame that support that the trap will try to hold some support at that particular price level. Okay. So yeah, we're going to continue to expect some weakness to come through into the market for Roy Cannabis. This is our forecast and it's relatively simple to see and understand. We're not here to confuse you. We're not here to, to give you some hype, some amazement some bullishness some moonshot no we're not all about that we're here to literally assist you in your own particular situation as to what we're understanding and seeing the market trapper move these products that's it make sure you join us also make sure you maintain a profitability i'll see you on the next one